So, hello lovely internet people. Today I am printing hedgehogs, which is very exciting. I'm using Block Craft Dark Purple fabric paint. This is water-based fabric paint, which you can iron and heat set, or you can do it in the tumble dryer. So I'm using that. I've got one of their nice sponges. I've got a tray. This is quite solid sponge, which is a really good thing for actually making a printing block get nicely covered. Here's my printing block, which I have prepared earlier. This is made from best technology. This is foam board, so a piece of foam core board. And then on top, I've used self-adhesive fab foam. You know, the kiddies craft foam. You can get the adhe adhesive version or the non-adhesive version, and you can cut it out. I've used two layers of foam here because that gives it a bit more squish and means that you've got less chance of getting your printing plate on your fabric as well because it's raised up more. So I have cut my shapes out and I have worked into them so you can see on here you've got your little spines on your hedgehogs and so I've got my sponge now I've got a bit of paint there and then I'm so that you can see I've got a sort of even pattern of bubbles coming off that not a big splodge because you want to be able to cover your plate evenly. Okay, so I'm going to roll this up a bit because that's fairly dry now. There we go. I'll push that away. So this is a piece of calico, cotton calico, which I have previously printed some things on. It's actually an old drop cloth, so I'm having experiment with hedgehogs on this, but I think that actually it's giving a bit of extra interest to the pattern. Sometimes working into a thing over and over again can give you some really, really gorgeous surfaces. So... This may be a starting point, it may be an ending point, we'll find out. I must just give a huge shout out to the lovely people at Hedge Hugs Hedgehog Rescue who are going to be receiving this fabric in due course, which is very exciting. Yeah, I'm having some fun, why not? So, here we have the other thing that's very important, you notice my arrow, the arrow says up. This way, when I turn my block over, I know that I'm always putting it the same way, or if you wanna be fancy and do, a rotating pattern you'll always know which way you have to go and do not drop your block <laughs> so to feed the block okay bounce 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 make sure you get it all especially that nose there so this is a pattern of little hedgehogs and little leaves and it was fun and it seemed like a good idea there we go la 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 bouncy pounce bouncy bouncy bounce 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 Okay, I have covered the entire block and you may not be able to see this, but it's all wet. It's all looking glossy. So now choose where it's going to go. Turn it over. Line it up. Plonk it down. Boink. And press. You can give it a shake if you want, but give it a nice press. Now, you'll notice that I'm not doing this direct on my table. I've got my cloth I'm working on. I've got my what I call the drop cloth which is this, which is again, is a piece of old sheet. In fact, it is a double, double thickness of old sheet, which is a really wonderful thing. And underneath that, I've got a big, big bit of foam. This I got years ago. It was actually some packaging off something. I can't remember where I got it, but it's actually nice, um, really heavy duty foam. So it gives a little bit, but not much. So just holding it down and letting the fabric suck the paint off the stamp and then now when you lift lift cleanly there now you can see that's a fairly decent print i could have been slightly better over that corner but not bad so we just keep going and we do it again until as you can see here's one i prepared earlier and it's all coming up hedgehogs now learning point this one this one here, if you can see that, is a lot lighter than the others. Because I got to here and I was like, well, I'm re-inking the block, but there seems to be loads of ink on the block. Maybe I'll just give it a go with less ink. And obviously it's a lot fainter. So you can use this, which is your second impression. What you could do is you could have a light fabric and a dark fabric. So you could have two pieces next to each other and do first print, second print, go back and refill. First print on this one, second print on the other one. 
or you could do a pattern using that as an actual design element, which is really cool. So anyway, as I say, big shout out to Hedgehogs Hedgehog Rescue, and you all have a lovely day. Visit janecameron.co.uk. Thank you. Bye.